In this video, we are going to see how we can record the vendor discounts in QuickBooks. So let's get started. So we have a transaction on 10 January 2024 and it says that payment made to Franklin Textiles against the credit invoice number 1200 in full and we have paid the supplier within 10 days to obtain the 2% discount within 10 days. So in this particular scenario, let's go up and let's see the earlier transaction. On 3rd January, we have actually purchased from this vendor and this is the same invoice number. And the vendor policy is that it offers 2% discount policy of payment within 10 days. So we have paid in 10 days, right? So we have settled in full within the 10 days. So what will be the process of recording this? Now, let me just recap what we did earlier. First of all, you need to create a chart of accounts of discount received, but under the cost of goods sold. Why cost of goods sold? Because we have received the invoice discount. That means if you have purchased something for 100 rupees and you got a 2% discount at the spot or at the time of payment, that means it is actually costing you 98 rupees, right? So you got the 2% discount. That's why we will reduce it from the cost directly rather than recording it as other income. What I believe this is the right treatment. Yes, but some people, according to accounting standards, treat any kind of discount received as income. That's also fine, but this is more appropriate, I believe. So anyways, at the time of entering bill, let's see the bill. We have entered this Franklin textiles bill and we haven't mentioned anything in the discount. We only mentioned the term that if we settle within the 10 days, we will get a 2% discount. That's it. And we have saved it because uh, we cannot record any discount until now because we don't know ourselves that whether we will settle within the 10 days to obtain this offer or not. So once we have settled that at the time of payment, we will adjust that discount. What you can do is you can go from payables and select the invoice, or you can find the earlier bill and click pay bills directly from here. If we go to pay bills, we can see a lot of bills here. If we go from enter bills and from here, I'll click on pay bills. So it will automatically be filtered for you and you will see only this payment. So actually it's better to go from pay bills because we will have flexibility. Then I'll choose this Franklin textiles. I can change the schedule online payment to check. I'm paying by check, let's say, and now I can change the date 10th of January. And let's say that we are paying it by Citibank from Citibank in form of check. Let's mention this is the check number, let's say. So we are paying from Citibank and let's click on set discounts. So from here, I'll choose that discount account that I created discount received. Now let's click done and you will clearly see here that the amount due was 4710000 against which we got 2% discount, which is 94,200 and we have to pay this amount now. So now the transaction is complete and let's click on pay selected bills. So as we can see that we have completely mentioned everything and settled the amount in full against the discount. Now click done. And this is how you do it. Now let's see that we have received an informal discount means at the time of payment vendor just randomly offers us a discount. And let's say for 495,000, we just have to pay uh, 490,000 now, but we haven't entered anything in enter bills. So should we go to enter bills and adjust all of this according to the terms? No, because at the time of payment, we just received an overall discount of 5,000. So what we can do in this situation, let's say we are paying this and we have to pay just 490,000 now. So you can see that set discount area is still available. It's, it's not removed from here. So I can set discount. I can manually mention the amount and 
I can set it in the same area that is discount account. Click done. You can pay for the bill against anything cash or bank and we are good to go. You just have to pay 490,000. So in this way also you can adjust the discount as you can see that amount due was 495,000 out of which we got a discount. Now we have to pay only this amount. So guys, this is how you can record the vendor discounts in QuickBooks. Let's quickly see the reports as well to show you how it looks in the profit and loss. I'll go to dates and change it to all. And at this point, we can see the discount received showing right here. But why everything is blank? That's because we haven't earned anything yet. Remember, it is a manufacturing company and we are here to buy the raw materials and produce the finished goods and then sell it. So we have received some sales order, but we haven't produced anything yet. So that's why profit and loss is showing like this. So guys, this is how you can enter this all. Just practice this by yourself and I'll see you in the next one.